Welcome back. For over 17 years, the founders of Agape Healthcare have set out to establish an organization that creates a higher standard for supportive care in our community. And joining me now is Carrie Filios, Manager of Bereavement Services at Agape Healthcare. And Carrie, I know it's hard to talk about grief and loss, but you guys are so passionate. Tell me about your role with Agape. Well, I'm a grief counselor by trade. Uh, and so I run the bereavement department and in hospice, we're very unique in healthcare in that we are the only avenue in healthcare that actually provides grief support. So as our families that we serve in hospice, the patients have a life limiting diagnosis, so a terminal illness. So most likely they will die on our service and there is support built in for those families, caregivers, friends uh, of those that are left behind. Now let's talk about grief. What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? <laughs> That's a big question. <laughs> um, well, grief is an involuntary response the body has to a loss. So a lot of people just perceive grief as being something when happens when somebody dies. And so you're sad and you cry and maybe you're depressed. Well, those certainly do apply to grief, but it's so much more than that. Uh, grief impacts us physiologically, um, cognitively, behaviorally, spiritually, emotionally. So there's, if you think about it, anything that you've probably ever experienced in your lifetime, it goes through grief. Um, anger, frustration, irritability, shock, numbness, feeling empty, um, feeling out of control, panic. And then you do have the anxiety, depression, those kinds of things happen physi uh, physiologically. We have lack of appetite, stomach aches, headaches, uh, digestive issues, our immune system gets compromised, um, a whole host of other things can happen to us physically. And then cognitively, um, have you ever felt that like if after a loss, I can't even, I have no idea where my brain is. Yeah. I can't remember anything, I can't, I can't stay on task. You're so fuzzy. I'm fuzzy and I think I'm losing my mind. All of that is part of grief. It also impacts us on a very, uh, deep level where it, it affects what we believe to be in the world, what we believe to be true and safe. And in a pandemic, we're really experiencing that because everything we thought our lives were is being challenged right now. And so that creates this search for meaning, um, which can be a big struggle for people. Now let's touch on that real quick. How do you help people with their grief in the age of COVID, that must have added such yeah. a, a huge element to yeah. loss. COVID has really impacted people, um, especially who are grieving a death loss, um, because we lack that ability to be together, to mourn. So uh, mourning is the outward expression of our grief. So grief is the physiological piece of grief, of what's going on. Mourning is you being able to come and hug me and comfort me, um, after my mom dies, right? Uh, we don't have that. We're communal beings. We do better in community with others and we can't do that right now. So we have people who are dying either in nursing homes or in private homes and families aren't getting that support coming to them. And like when, you know, people would come to the house and they bring food and they're going shopping for you, doing all those kinds of things, people are staying isolated. So we're seeing a lot more anxiety uh, with folks that are grieving, uh, a lot more of the depression popping in. So a lot of what we do is try to just provide that, that voice, uh, whether it's on the phone or on a video screen, um, and kind of try to normalize what they're going through and letting them know that there are people out there that care. Yeah, Carrie, I always say that what you do, it's so important and you have such a gift and I'm so glad that there's people like you mm, that do you. what you do because I, I wouldn't know how to begin. Yeah. So thank you for what you do and thank you for being here today. You can find grief resources and learn more about the care Agape provides at agape-healthcare.com. You can also reach them by calling 720-482-1988. Today's segment paid for by Agape Healthcare and we will be right back.